everyone, it's Yami, your Latina Next Door, and I am back with another video. I am here in my craft room. As you know, I have been working on it for a couple weeks now, and I am next to this bookcase, which I actually have two of them that I scored for free because they were abandoned. And um, I created um, a very beachy farmhouse look to them. My uh, style is uh, Hamptons Farmhouse. It's very elegant and very beachy, but at the same time, it's got that rustic feel. And it was my first time working with milk paint. And I kind of wanted to take you through it because not everybody has worked with milk paint before. Um, and I wanted to share the process. Um, my almost fail through the <laughs> midway because I really thought it was gonna turn out horrible. And up until the end where it actually turned out amazing and I love the way they look. And if you do too, I wanna show you how I got this look. That way you can do it as well. Now milk paint comes um, in powder form. It is 100% VOC free, all natural. And all you do is mix it with equal parts of warm water. And I like to mix mine in a mason jar. Just make sure you shake it really well until it's the consistency of a melted milkshake. And just apply it with a regular chalk paintbrush. And I will actually put the link below of where I got my paintbrush because it's actually very inexpensive and where I also got the milk paint. Now, um, milk paint is supposed to be for a um, distress and tippy finish like this. You want to make sure if you have a very slick surface so that you add extra bond to your milk paint so that it can adhere better. But also make sure that you sand it down. Now, unfortunately, I did not get footage of me actually painting it, but you just basically put it on like you would regular paint using long streaks and you want at least two coats. However, this is the part where I freaked out. As you can see, even after the second coat, it was super streaky. I'm not sure if it's my inexperience or what, but I was just about out of paint and I couldn't do anything else. So basically, I just kept going. And what I did was I just sanded everything down. Now, as you can see, it started chipping in a couple areas, but that was okay because I do like minimal chipping. And um, I just kind of went through all the streaks and just really got it down with a 220 grit sandpaper. And let me tell you, that is what did the job. As you can see, it looks very weathered and it looks multidimensional and that's what I loved. And then I went ahead and got Debbie's Design Diaries white wax and applied it to give it even more of a contrast because again, I wanted that coastal look. Then shortly after applying the white wax, you want to wipe it away with a clean cloth. Then you want to let it dry for about 24 hours to cure and then you're on to the next step. Next, I added some shiplap to give it that farmhouse feel and I just used wood glue and then used my weights to hold them down while um, I laid the bookshelf on its back and let it dry overnight. Then I applied Debbie's Design Diaries clear wax and let that dry overnight for at least 24 hours. Then after it's dry, you come back and you buff it out with a clean cloth. Now adding this clear wax, as you can see, deepened the blue color. The board on the left had the clear wax and the board on the right only had the white wax. Now I could have left it just like this, but I wanted to go ahead and paint the shiplap that classic white. The best color for that was going to be Debbie's Design Diaries White Swan. It's a clay based chalk paint and it's so thick and so pigmented that I only had to do one coat. And then I use that little spatula every once in a while so that I would not get paint on the blue sides. Then I basically put the clear wax in the same method that I put it on the blue sides. I put the wax on, let it dry overnight for 24 hours at least, and then buffed it off. And there you have it. That is absolutely everything I did to get these shelves looking like this. Now, if you like the wall behind these shelves, I will actually be uploading a complete tutorial on how to get this farmhouse cement tile look with stencil. It is an extensive, all the tips and tricks I let you know so that you can get it to look just like this. So make sure and stay tuned for that. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I look forward to hearing from y'all if y'all have any questions. I am not an expert, but <laughs> I feel that this project um, gave me a good base to go on and um, continue, you know, getting uh, a little bit more expertise as I go. I have more milk paint that I have purchased and I can't wait to see what else I can do with it. Um, I love how they turned out and I hope you did too.